you know nishasemewa maneno zangu tunakubali tumekubali your performance tumepata mabawa si ndio yes all right so spontaneous yes. tell us a bit about yourself you know I, you were here a long time ago Yo. and our fans have changed things have Yo. changed um e circuit for me has been home i know this is where i launched my first show mm -hmm. gaining grip experience this is why I did this, the If I Die Tomorrow, yeah, on, with on an acapella other. without anything. It was but the first there was time. A, there was a guitarist. Oh, no, 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 no. Really? That was the first time. Uh -huh. It was the first time. 2016, okay. Apple. Oh, yeah, but Pia Mimi sequel. <laughs> I was not here. <laughs> 2016. Uh -huh. um, and it's, it's been really beautiful to, like, you guys to, like, walk the journey with me. Mm. Because even today we're actually talking about a video that I had launched initially. Yeah. So. It's it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So tell them a bit about yourself. <laughs> so yeah, um, I had mentioned earlier. I am I am a spoken word artist to use arts for social change. Um, I have been in this space since drama festival, 1998. My mm -hmm. people, don't be shocked. I was just <laughs> a class <people. laughs> Mm. Where were you in 1998? I'm sure half of our fans are in 1998. They're doing a lot of drama. Born like two years later. Two years. Yeah. Oh, yo, 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 I am old, <laughs> neighbor. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's how I started my mm -hmm. journey. Um, I remember the first time I actually wrote something. I was going through a lot of bullying mm -hmm. back then. Mm -hmm. And so, ill frustration too. Mm -hmm. And you don't even know you're actually putting down a suicidal note. And you're like, God, me, I'm tired. Me, you just take me and take me back. You know, me, yeah. I'm tired of all this being pulled mm -hmm. and all that. But I think the most beautiful thing that come out, came out of that was, aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, I mm -hmm. can actually write. Yeah. I mean, that was the beginning of my art mm -hmm. as a form of healing. Mm -hmm. And over time, I, I used to think I was going to be, I always say this, the next mm -hmm. Mariah Carey. Mm. Dreams are valid. <laughs> they are. It's not too late. Dreams are very valid. Not too late. Yeah. But um, so I, I get to high school. Mm -hmm. um, no, no, no. Way before high school. Um, I got a chance to go and represent the school mm -hmm. in Nakuru. By that time, I was, I was, I was too good. So my daughter at mm -hmm. Kapsara Primary. Mm -hmm. It was so big. It was... It was dope, like I was the only person. And I thought to myself, because I love traveling. Even as a child, mm -hmm. I already knew I loved traveling. Yeah. It was like, if my art can make me leave mm -hmm. the school mm -hmm. compound, yeah. why not? Mm. <laughs> so that's how I delved deeper into poetry. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, motivated by my teacher, Mrs. Onyango. I wonder if she's still around. Mm -hmm. And then I get to come to high school. And I actually wrote my first piece, mm -hmm. uh, which I actually now presented at the drama festival. Yeah. And that was like a win. That mm -hmm. was a major win. Because mm. I really, really wanted to get out of school. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody to wanted honest, to get out of school. Funky. 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 Yo. Except my people who are not going to go to The rest of us. Yeah. You know us. You know we people. <laughs> Then I got to I got to campus. Um, that was in twenty what? Will you end the campus in twenty ten? It didn't let you tell that twenty fourteen. To ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, uh -huh. twenty eleven because uh -huh. we finished in twenty fourteen. Yeah. And I met a guy called Ordinary Mind, and I remember telling him I love poetry, and I was like, you should try spoken word. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I had the mm -hmm. name spoken word. So I was wondering what is spoken word, mm -hmm. and he said he would teach me. But I used to do, I was the backup singer for a friend called Enigma Creative. Mm -hmm. I still feared like putting You're a backup? I was a backup singer. <laughs> no, I was going to be the next one. No. Harry, you guys. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's new. I know. That's new for that's you. New. Very yeah, new I for him. Okay. Oh, very new. Yeah. What? Okay. okay. So I back up sang for Enigma Creative. Mm -hmm. He's a dope writer. Yeah, mm -hmm. And... And I was so intimidated. Mm -hmm. I was like, I can't put my poetry out there. Mm -hmm. And so I leave campus and then I come to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that stands out is I like writing. Yeah. So I meet a guy called Rick Spoet who links me up with Fatumas. And I start writing. Mm -hmm. So this time I'm writing with Papas because they used to do themed themed shows. Mm -hmm. So to Wando Nambi we go and write about... Uh, financial, for instance, now the finance bill would be mm -hmm. something to write about. Yeah. 
or, or human rights violations or human trafficking, you know. So that's how I actually started now researching on my pieces mm -hmm. and actually writing mm -hmm. pieces that are geared towards, mm -hmm. say, policy reforms mm -hmm. and and speaking out for people. Yeah, it started out with speaking out for myself because mm -hmm. I used to tell my own stories. Mm -hmm. and then it became a whole conversation people, of now, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. of now let's like, speak for the world. You mm -hmm. know, okay. someone was, once asked me, mm -hmm. "Why do you think your voice matters?" Mm -hmm. I was like, "You know what." Because it mattered when I really needed it back then. Mm -hmm. So definitely it would matter yeah. for other people. For other people, it's true. And mm -hmm. there's no beautiful thing as building from within to without. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so that's why I do what I do. Mm -hmm. um, over the years, I have, I have tried lots to like put out my own personal experiences into the work that I do. Mm -hmm. So that it's also... It's genuine. Mm -hmm. you it know? comes from the heart. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Vulnerability is the hardest mm -hmm. to... But my friend, art has taught me and vulnerability. And especially being vulnerable to other people. You know, you, I can be vulnerable to you. Yes. But to the world. Yes. That's different. Yes. So, um, it's, it's been... And now just meeting amazing, incredible mm -hmm. people in the industry who've been, like, helping me out to, like, mm -hmm. build the content and also just to push it out there. Mm -hmm. And to be able to have like organizations like Foreign Civil now champion for democracy and governance, Power 254, mm -hmm. and to also just be capacity built on matters, safe migration through yeah. Hat Kenya, Peace mm -hmm. Network. You know, so basically, mm -hmm. it's just been spontaneous, has been a result of the support mm -hmm. of different people okay. within different spaces. Yeah. And that brings me to now what the project I am on. Mm -hmm. Which hold day. it, hold it there, hold <laughs> it right there. We'll talk. About, we'll come to that. Okay. You know? okay. Um, okay. Let's hear from Komora a little bit, yes. and then maybe tell the people. You know, you had told us that you are a singer, songwriter. Mm. You have a school. So I tell know. us a bit about that and how mm. you met Spontaneous. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Hi guys. My, uh, my name, my name again is Komora, mm -hmm. and I am a singer songwriter. I do in the style of rock music. Mm -hmm. I am in three rock bands. Three. One of them is an Afrima winning band called Rush. Mm -hmm. um, I have my own band now, which I'm the lead singer called A New One. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just dropped our first single mm -hmm. about two weeks ago. It's called okay. Fire. It's online. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, just go, <laughs> just go check it out. Mm -hmm. It's called Fire. Mm -hmm. I also play another band called Hot Sun Frequency. Mm -hmm. About to drop our first album. Mm -hmm. And I play the, another lady called Lee Boy. I play with a bunch of artists. I play with, I have cut, actually listed them. Like I have like 15 artists who I play with. Yo, you know it's it's hard to be with three people in one band. Yeah. But now three bands, <laughs> different know. people. Yeah. How do you manage uh, commitment? You know, con conflict. How do you deal with all of that? There's, there's, there's no conflict really. I love I love playing guitar. Mm -hmm. And I love sharing what I have. I have no problem with, sh with sharing whatsoever. Yeah. Yes, I, I find joy. Actually, I find joy mm -hmm. and purpose playing guitar with whoever is in that space who yeah. loves art as well. Mm -hmm. So I find joy doing it. So it doesn't really affect me. Actually, I find mm -hmm. it very, very, very empowering. Yeah. 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 Um, I also teach guitar by day. Mm -hmm. I have, yo, hey, now it's tough. <laughs> Yeah, it's very, very tough, tough. bro. It's tea for tough. We're going to have to some of you. You need to do tax for content creation. My God. No more sign. My good Lord, Grace. Yeah, so <laughs> I have a startup school called uh -huh. Lela. Yeah. It's us here at WCA. Mm -hmm. I, I teach guitar there. If you want to learn guitar, you can actually mm -hmm. highlight me. Just guitar or um, okay, other I, instruments? Yeah, there's other instruments as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes. So basically, I met this lovely lady here mm -hmm. years back. Was it getting grief? Yo. When do you, when do you Can meet? Can we share this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Please do. Please do. We do know. it. Do it. No, no, no. no. Go ahead. Share it. Share uh -huh. it. Share it. Cool. So, um, yeah. so I'm organizing Gaining Grip Experience. Yeah. And the first one. The second one now. Mm -hmm. The one that Nomonde Sky came from. Mm -hmm. yeah. You say, right? Yes. The South African lady. The South African yeah, that lady. Okay. Yeah. That's the first yeah. time I met you. <sighs> yeah, by then that was the first time. So now you know how the pressure, what you've said about mm -hmm. team, uh, teamwork and mm -hmm. all that. And somehow, unfortunately, because of personal reasons, my guitarist wasn't able to come on time. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And we needed to do a rehearsal, a rehearsal set before we get on stage. Yeah. 
then Komora comes in and says, mm -hmm. "Yo, hi, spontaneous. Um, so what do you need done? I'm like, uh, my 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 person, I have one hour mm -hmm. and a one hour show, and I do not have a guitarist, mm -hmm. and I'm a chelewa. So what do we do? And then Komora tells me, I will play. I'm like, yo, we've been doing rehearsals for three months. Mm -hmm. How are you going to play <laughs> today? Uh -huh. And he's like, I got you. Give me the codes. I'm like, I'm not a musician. I do not know what codes <laughs> are. I'm like, okay, how are we helping you? Okay, sing each each piece for me as you go. I swear that's what we did. Yeah. For an hour. And it really flow to you. Really flow. It just, yeah. And that's how I met okay. Kumar. That's yeah. how... That was my first, like, mm -hmm. direct interaction. We, we were seeing each other, hi, mm -hmm. hi, but mm -hmm. that was the first time. I was like, this is one person I can depend on. Yeah. And, and Proof that he loves playing guitar, and he will do... That's why he's playing with 15 artists. <laughs> and if and you come to. on, this is, you just meet in one hour. People have been rehearsing for three months. No, me, yeah, one hour. No, me, flow. You are such a savior that day. You oh. have no idea. He was... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad and that happens, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And he's always been, like, just checking yeah. in and asking, mm -hmm. so what mm -hmm. are you doing? Mm -hmm. What are the next projects you have in mind? I'm mm -hmm. open to supporting. Okay, yeah. that's nice. You know, it's important yeah. to support each other in this Nairobi. Yeah, also, also, you know, life act. is very, very short. People think yeah. they have a lot of time. It's we don't true. have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go, uh, you know, all your like, <laughs> you like this, you like, mm. I wish I could have done this with this the person. Do it. Mm -hmm. Just do it. You now. Know what's gonna yeah. Do it now. Yeah. Do it now. Yeah. 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 And it's been five years. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. Five years. It's been five years. Five years? Yeah, it's been five years. Five years. Five years. Five years. Five years. God damn, it's yeah. five years. It's a long time. Wow. Yeah. Right, so let's talk about your, you know, the projects that you are pushing right now. African woman. <laughs> <laughs> Hair vulnerability galore. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm doing, first of, mm -hmm. uh, during Mother's Day, mm -hmm. again, courtesy of drum rolls. <laughs> <laughs> We released um, a piece called African Woman, yeah. and it's a it's a very personal piece to me because mm -hmm. it it seeks to transform the the single parenthood narrative mm -hmm. through the lenses of the lone child. Mm -hmm. I coined that, guys. Lone, lone child, child just means. Oh, that, okay, I I let me not <laughs> water it down because you know it's a concept I really like. Oh, yeah. thank you, mm -hmm. thank you for the support. Um, it's about uh, as a lo what a lone child means, mm -hmm. quote unquote, because it's coined. Mm -hmm. It's being raised by a single parent. Mm -hmm. So the child has been raised by a single, single parent. parent. Mm. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I told you, you know, Mama. you're speaking for I, so many people. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you're speaking you. for so many people. Thank you so yeah. much for rubber stamping this. Mm -hmm. And you know, wh when I started out, it was just a matter. When I wrote the piece the first time, it was after my mom asked me, you write things for other people. Mm -hmm. You've never written something for me. For me, huh? huh. Yo, huh? yo, I was like, you're sure you want me to write stuff? Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> eventually, I had, I had the ability, like now I knew exactly what mm -hmm. I wanted to write about mm -hmm. her. And I did the piece, and my mom, my, my mom passed on in, or rather, I chose heaven, Kuliko Art, mm -hmm. in 2016. Mm -hmm. And the last day, when we were together, she was bedridden. And that's the day I read the piece out for her. And I don't know, you know, sometimes was that, that was a very tough space. But it was so funny because I woke up in the morning to look at her hospital, and the pre pastor came through and prayed for her. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, Mom, I'm going to do a show for you today. Mm -hmm. Even if you can't communicate, I'll do a show for mm -hmm. you. So I, so I do a show for her. Yeah. I read to her this piece I have written, and I tell her, mm -hmm. when you're healed, mm -hmm. hey, now you'll sit on stage. Yeah. So you better get healed very fast. And then, yeah, and then I did a worship song for her and all that, but she left us eventually. Mm -hmm. And that was in 2016. I didn't have, I never had strength to put this piece out there. So seven years, because it's now 2023. I know. They say seven years is a year of completion, man. So I think my grieving phase with the piece, mm -hmm. Imekuja completion, Sai, Sai where, <laughs> where I finally now launched the video. Mm -hmm. And the video just talks about, pours myself out to my late mom mm -hmm. and the discourse around that. 
And so the whole idea was to spur discussions with this video. And mm -hmm. um, when I was putting on the project, I realized that statistically they talk about the single mom. Yes, yeah, single mom, single dads. You know, and the single dads. But what about the single, single child? child? You know, yeah. the assumption is the problem we have is poverty, mm -hmm. lack of education. But a single child, do you really know what poverty is at that time? Do you know? No. That's not our... The challenges we have here are very different because now, for us, it's more on the mental health basis. Mm -hmm. It's on the separation anxiety. When am I going to see my mom next? When am I going to see my dad next? To the point where... If I ever see them. If I ever see... There, there are some who never see them. Yeah. <sighs> they come to see them much later in much life. Much later yeah. in life. Mm -hmm. So the whole separation anxiety and how it plays out when you grow older into your own relationships. Some people choose to stick in these relationships, even if it's toxic, because, mm -hmm. oh, I don't want to also bring in a child from a single true, space, you true, know. True. And then there's also us who run away. Mm -hmm. You see the slightest of problems, mm -hmm. and you're like, uh-uh, mm -mm. I'm, I'm done, out. I'm, I'm out. out, you know. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not doing this. But I think the whole idea of the project is to just bring out the voice of the child. Mm -hmm. And considering yesterday was mm -hmm. African Child Day. Mm -hmm. Child Day, I yeah. mean, what a beautiful... Timely. It's so timely. It's, I know, you know. It's a beautiful way to now focus on the child. Mm -hmm. Because we also have mental health issues right now. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I feel like mental health issues don't start when you're older. They start when you're younger. Yeah, childhood trauma. You know? Mm -hmm. child, thank you. Because speaking for myself, looking uh, now, um, hmm, who call you mm -hmm. older? Mm -hmm. But every time I'm always looking back, mm -hmm. I'm like, what did I miss then that is affecting me now? now. Yeah, you know. Sure. Yeah. And so for me, as a, as a single, as a as a lone child, for me the key things were separation anxiety wow. and the mental health aspect, and also the pressure to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Because you think about if you, came, if you came from a broken home, all you really want to do is have a unified home. Yeah. You're always trying to prove that you are deserving, you are better, you are, you know. And you also feel like you, you want to give back to the people who helped you. You feel indebted, mm -hmm. for the lack of a better word. You feel indebted. And I have, it's taken me so many years to realize how much I choose lesser things in life because mm -hmm. I fear if I allow people to give me better things, then I'm indebted to them and I can't give it back. Mm -hmm. Because as a child, it always felt like I have, a pro I have a point to prove. Like if your fees is paid for someone else and not your parents, mm -hmm. it's I need to do I better. Open. Yeah. I, owe them. I owe them. I have like to I perform visually. Yes. Yes. I have to show that mm -hmm. their money did not go to waste, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And when you're... It's true. That's ah, deep, you relate, you. you re <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> deep. <laughs> deep. <laughs> Too early in the morning to be talking about such deep things. <laughs> you know. You know. Yeah, it's you know. Mm -hmm. And or today in the morning we were... Okay, we are rather talking about kindness, you know. Mm -hmm. Being kind to someone and not feeling like... You know, this person was kind. I don't owe them. You don't owe them. Yes, because yeah. you were kind to Do me. Do you know how many times I've had to sit down with one of my favorite aunties and she, I think she's been the most instrumental person in my life because she reminds me, you do not owe us. And I think even the guys who are helping, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. I know you're supporting um, the lone children or anyone you're supporting. Mm -hmm. it's, so, it's, it's amazing to always just go back to them and tell them. Mm -hmm. You don't owe me. Yeah, you do. I am doing this out Thank of you. love. Thank you. You know, That's right. yes. and and I know you've Thank never you. thought about it about telling someone that, but it but goes way. a long way. It uh, like yeah. removes like a chain, mm -hmm. a bondage chain. You know. Mm -hmm. So how she kept on telling me every mm -hmm. time. She's yes, like, you I know, we know. are doing this because we are your family, mm -hmm. and this is what family, family mm -hmm. ought to do. To this do. is what yes. it does. Yeah. yeah. And the fact that she kept saying it a couple of times, mm -hmm. it no longer felt. Mm -hmm. My friend, in these old ages when I've, I've realized, mm -hmm. oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> don't actually, her. I yeah. don't owe anyone, I don't, you know, it's and okay. it's beautiful yeah. to get that release. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And another thing, um, <laughs> we are running out of time. Oh, it's we are fine. running out of time. So, <laughs> and it is to 
clear, to, to like just finish, mm -hmm. um, we're doing, I'll be doing, by God's grace, I'll be doing the screenings in the different parts of the city in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. But the first the screening that's of the of African the, woman, of the African woman mm -hmm. and the conversation mm -hmm. centered around transforming this perception, mm -hmm. yeah, to mm -hmm. the eyes of the lone child. Okay. And the first screening, we thank God, is happening in Rwanda. Ooh, Rwanda. Rwanda. Uh -huh. And that's in the month of July. Uh -huh. And then when we come back home, hopefully we get to do another screening uh -huh. in different uh -huh. cinemas, you know, and just uh -huh. have these conversations. Uh -huh. And who knows, maybe be the first people to actually do statistical con dis discourse around the lone, the lone child. child. I, honestly, by that, I like that concept a lot. And that's what oh. I'm saying. We are talking about very deep things because every other time we look at it from the, ch the parent side. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, um, by the way, mm -hmm. sorry, mm -hmm. just even mention, mm -hmm. do you know mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. there are single fifty percent of households are single women led? So as much as people presume that single uh, households are the minority, mm -hmm. they're actually at par. par. Okay. You're actually at par. Interesting. And it's assumed that in the next mm -hmm. few years, mm -hmm. it's, gonna world, get higher. it's going to get higher. Oh, oh okay. You know. I hope it doesn't yeah. <laughs> get to that part. I care, yeah. yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. very fast, before mm -hmm. we get to the performance, um, just mention your social media handles mm -hmm. yeah, and where people can find your pieces okay. as they wait for the screening and Komora as well, where people can find your music and mm -hmm. be part of you know, your school. Because I'm very sure there are so many artists watching us today. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's go fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. In very few words. <laughs> okay. Just follow me on 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 IG e underscore Komora on Facebook Komora on uh, Twitter Komora on YouTube Komora Ayub. Also follow my band a new one A N I U A N official. Mm -hmm. A new one. A new one. Official. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Cool. Spontaneous the pot on all social media platforms mm -hmm. except Twitter mm -hmm. at Spontaneous Rick. Mm -hmm. uh, but the video is also on YouTube at Spontaneous the Point. All right. Okay. Yes. So let's Thank listen you. to this, you know, inspiring piece that brought about the conversations of the lone child. Ooh. <laughs> let's do this. statistic that thrived from this equation because alone is how she has always walked in this narrowed path with broadened thoughts I see her lowering her pace and fasting her laces is to give us the very best because alone is how she has always walked when he drooled over his pants and swung that tool to our direction but she picked like that broom and swept the mad arm in a way like and we began living Living in pieces, I made this the tiny, disentangled parts. She became both a mother and a father. And a father. Come on, let's do this. Mama way, mama way, mama way, mama way, mama way, mama way, mama way. If you're at home, join us. Mama way, mama way, mama way, mama way. Mama way, mama way, mama way, mama way. Chezaki dogo, chezaki dogo, chezaki dogo. Oh, chezaki dogo, chezaki dogo. Hey, chezaki dogo, chezaki dogo. Hey, chezaki dogo. See, I remember 
I remember those days when the society smacked you on the face. Heaps of responsibilities led to depression. And now the hypothesis proven. Six years down the line, still stuck on the poverty lane yet again. Another null hypothesis proven. We see too much negativity spread on our history, but you taught us the beauty of positivity. Because alone is how she has always walked. In this narrowed path, she had to have wisdom. Because questions like this never missed. At 10, questions be like, <laughs> At 15 to 19, questions be like, Uko shuana kwa na Charlie. Are you sure you even know how to take care of a boyfriend, yo? It's funny how these questions married with age. At 25 to 29, questions be like, Uko shuana ku get married. Are you sure you're going to be submissive to your husband? With the woman looking for a phase in this global place it was a bit difficult but mama reminded us that human words were just like the mist that you could either lift a rain jacket and watch it demystify or you could hibernate from it or you could either <laughs> lift that bonfire and watch it all demystify because human words are just Spontaneous their point. Courtesy of director O. Yeah, he did the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shout out to you, director. I was sitting on Jua Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, thank you so much, guys, for coming through. We appreciate um, the interesting conversation. Yani, it has even in, eaten up into our request hour. Oh. <laughs> so, yani, we are like oh. half the time, oh. but it was definitely worth it. Yeah. So, thank you so much. You're thank welcome. you so much. You for All the me. best um, you so in your much. individual careers as well. Yeah. And let's continue supporting each other. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. 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 So, up next, request hour, sending your request. Kenyan music request. Sawa sawa. Yeah, see. <laughs>